Hey everyone, this is John Ogunja of Giga Tech International. Uh, today I have in front of me MPPT Solar Charge Controller. Mazimo Power Point Tracker Solar Charge Controller. Uh, this one came in from Lagos today. Uh, one of my new clients complained of uh, poor quality supply from his uh, solar setup. So uh, now I recommend this uh, type of controller for him so that we can change the, the PWM that is there. So let me open it so that we'll look at it then. I'll say one or two things about the future of this particular system. This is the guide. The guide. These are the screws. The screw to anchor it to the, uh, to the wall. And this is the baby. This is it. Right, that's it. That is the serial number. Serial number. You can look at the very huge uh, heat sink attached to it. All right. Um, let's look at the parameters that are here. Amperage, the current, the 60 amps. Then the weight. Then the battery voltage. These are the various nominal voltage for the various potential level you are maybe you tend to mount this system 12 volts setup 24 setup or 14 volts setup you understand so below that is the maximum solar input power number one if it's a 12 volt setup you are not expected to exceed this 625 watts that's your solar uh, array you understand then this is the second one when you are operating on this on this potential level, it should not uh, uh, see this uh, 1650 watts. And also, when you are on uh, 48 volt setup, that is the, the maximum uh, watts of your solar array. Then, below that also is the open circuit voltage of your solar uh, your solar arrays. By open circuit voltage, that means the the voltage you read from the solar array without any load connected to the solar panel. Hmm? No load, no load voltage. You understand? So, also, this one is very important. Uh, the temperature, it ranges from minus 25 degrees to 55 degrees uh, Celsius. So, we need to look at all those ones so that you know how to a very good. Uh, uh, set up you understand so that is that this system has um, two major features technically this is a DC to DC converter it's a DC to DC converter when you look at the, the uh, these four terminals input terminals four terminals this and this, just as you see this picture here, it depicts the terminal that is going to the solar solar panel. That is the primary or the input, if you like. Then, while on this other side is the side that is going to the load, which is the battery. So it is a DC to DC uh, converter. You know, it converts the DC from the solar panel to a more quality or another kind of. Um, Power on this side where the voltage is low and the current is very very high. But on this side, always the voltage is at the maximum point where the product of the voltage and current on an IV IV curve is highest. You understand? Irrespective of the magnitude of the input voltage from the solar panel, whether the sun is very high, whether it's low, it charges the highest point where the power is maximum, which is the product of the voltage and the current. You understand? The primary reason why we need an MPPT is to uh, maintain 
a good battery head status. You understand? Maintain a good battery head status. And how does this system, system goes about doing that? So, number one, it has to equalize the specific gravity of the cells inside the battery. What is specific gravity? Specific gravity defines the state of charge of the battery. You understand? Then some other time we can dive into that. Then on point number two, it helps to dissolve the surface crystals that are attached to attached on the um, the surface area of the metals inside the battery. But not the metal inside the battery. You understand? It helps to remove all those uh, crystals for better performance of the uh, battery. So, it has uh, a selectable three-stage charging mode for virtually any kind of deep circle batteries. In order to optimize um, the performance, you understand? to optimize the performance of uh, the battery. Both the bulk stage, uh, the absorption stage, and the floating stage. So it's a very smart uh, system. Equalization is something you can do periodically, say over the period of uh, maybe 60 days, 80 days, depends, depends on the status of your setup, what you want with it. So you can just program it and it takes care of that for you. And also, we have other important uh, parameters like your uh, the energy we are producing by day. You understand the profile? You get it from there. It has time and so many other things are inside. So it's a very smart and intelligent uh, uh, system. So that is it. so by tomorrow we are going to go in there. We want to fix it. We we'll compare. Um, the PWM to this one, we we'll compare it PWM that is in that uh, my client's uh, uh, resident. We'll compare its performance of that one to this uh, uh, Felicity uh, Felicity product. Yes. So thanks for watching. I expect our um, video. Uh, spare the following video follow up video tomorrow thanks